Assalamu alaikum. Dear students, hope you are fine by the grace of the Almighty. So today I am here from Labib and Jafis Tech and our today's students will be class 3 and our today's subject is math and our, we are going to show our topic will be word problems part 2. I have already given word problems before in, in other videos you, could, you can find them in my channel. So I am going to show the part 2 today and we are going to go through some work problems so let's start so students we are now at page 867 and here is the question the price of 5 eggs is taka 75 what is the price of 1 egg so students we can see here 75 taka is the price of 5 eggs so we have to find the price of 1 egg then we have to divide this 75 by 5 that is number one here price of 5x is taka 75 then price of 1 egg is taka 75 divided by 5 so that is is equal to taka 15 so price of 1 egg is taka 15 so students this is our first word problem now we are going to our next word problem Students, we are going to show another word problem from page 67 and that is number 2. In the class, there are 41 students. 3 students can sit in each bench. How many benches will be needed for them? So students, let's go through the answer. So number 2 here, 3 students can sit in one bench. Then 41 students can sit in 41 divided by 3 benches. So that is 13. Here it means the 13 portion and the remainder is 2. Or you can say 14 benches. So as we can see here, they need 13 benches but 2 students will be remained. So we have to take 1 more benches and that will be 14. So 14 benches will be needed for them. So students, let's go to our third word problem. So students, this is also from page 67 and our question is, there are 83 pencils and 7 students. How many pencils will each student get if they share the pencils equally? So students, we can see here that there are 7 students and 83 pencils and we have to divide this 83 into those 7 students. So let's go through the answer. Number 3 here. 7 students get 83 pencils then each student get 83 divided by 7 pencils so we have to divide this if we divide this then get we get 11 pencils with 6 remaining that is the quotient is 11 and the remainder is 6 and that is so each student will get 11 pencils with 6 remaining here will be 6 it's a mistake Sorry for the mistake. And now we are going to show our fourth word problem. So students, this is from page 69. And our question is, in a class, there are 45 students. 5 students can sit in each bench. How many benches will be needed for them to sit? So students, here we can see that there are 45 students and in one bench, 5 students can sit. So we have to find the number of benches that is we have to divide this 45 by 5. Here we can see a line here. So at first number 4 here. 5 students can sit in one bench. So 45 students can sit in 45 divided by 5 benches. That is so 9 benches will be so that is 9 benches. So, the 9 benches will be needed for them to sit. So, student, this is our fourth word problem. Now, let's go to our next word problem. So, students, we are again going to get another word problem from page 69. And the word problem is, 48 guavas were distributed equally among 6 persons. How many guavas did each person get? So number 5 here, 6 persons got 48 guavas, 
then each person got 48 divided by 6. If we divide 48 by 6, then we get 8 guavas, or that is 8. So, each person would get 8 guavas. So, students, this is the answer of our fifth word problem. And we are halfway to our video and the uh, rest of the five, uh, I am going to show you now. So, let's go to our sixth word problem. So this is another word problem for page 69 and the question is the price of each banana is taka 6. How many such bananas can be bought for taka 90? So let's go through the answer. Number 6 here. Taka 6 is the price of one banana. Then taka 90 is the price of, we have to divide this 90 by 6 bananas. That is 15 bananas so if we want to prove that this is 15 we have to then if we multiply 15 by 6 then we get 90 so that is 15 bananas can be bought for taka 90 so students this is our sixth word problem now let's go to our next word problem so this is another problem from page 69 and Reza had taka 532 if an egg cost taka 7, how many can he buy and how much money remains? So students, let's go through the answer. Number 7 here. Taka 7 is the price of 1 egg. Then taka 532 is the price of 500. The price of, we have to divide this 532 by 7 eggs. That is 76 eggs. So we can see if we multiply this 7 by 76, then we get 532. So there is no remainder. That means he bought 76 AX without no money remaining. So Reza can buy 76 AX with no money remaining. So students, this is our seventh word problem. Now let's go to our eighth word problem. So students, we are now at our eighth word problem. And we can see here at the question, 1 year equals 365 days. How many weeks and days does 1 year have? So students, already somehow got the answer here, but I at first we have to understand the question. So number 8 here, in 7 days there is 1 week. So in 365 there will be days, there is 365 divided by 7 weeks. That is 52 weeks and one day. We can see here if we divide 365 by 7 day we get 52 with one remaining. So in one year there are 52 weeks and one day. So students let's go to our next word problem. So then this is our next word problem and we can see here Duke gets a scholarship of Taka 90 per month. He gave Peter Taka 80 from what he got in 6 months. How much money was le then left with Duke? So we can see number 9 here. In 1 month, Duke gets Taka 90. Then in 6 months, he gets, you have to multiply this 90 to 6. That is Taka 540. Then he gave Peter Taka 80. So remaining Taka 460. So Taka 460 was left with do. So these are the word problems. And students, thank you for watching. And if you like the video, then don't forget to like, comment, and also don't forget to share. And must subscribe our channel for new videos. So that's all for today. Assalamu alaikum.